Hey everyone, Trancher Dan here, I hope you're doing well today. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you something that I think is somewhat cool about the area that I live. You see here uh, on the map on screen that where I live, which is just to the east of Kent, on a little place called the Isle of Sheppey, it's one of only a few locations uh, where you can find a certain species of scorpion. Now these scorpions can be found in sort of different parts, like sort of like south, southeast of the UK, but the main location where you can find them um, in greater numbers is here on the Isle of Sheppey, uh, in a place called Blue Town, which is about a five minute drive from where I live, not even five minutes. Um, it's quite a cool place, I've been there quite a few times with my friend Emma and Matt, and I was telling someone at work about it ages and ages ago, and he kept saying to me, oh, we, you know, I, I'd love to go there, would you take me? And I said, yeah, sure, I'll take you sometime. And so in this video, that's what we did. Um, so we went and we found quite a few of these scorpions. We collected three. Um, as they are an invasive species, it's technically illegal to place them back. Um, and the other thing as well, I was talking to a pest control gentleman um, about two weeks ago who told me that he's found those scorpions. He actually gets called out to people's houses on the island where these scorpions have got into the houses and pest control go around and just have to kill these scorpions essentially because they don't know what to do with them. They collect them but they can't release them so they've got nothing, you know, they don't know what to do with them essentially. Um, and I did say to him, look, if in the future you find any more, he knows where I live. Um, I was like, you know, you've got my number, just drop them around to me. So maybe in the future I might end up with more of these scorpions. So without further ado, I'm going to roll the clips that I filmed whilst I was out with Alan. And this is the Tetratrichobothrys flaviclaudis, the European yellowtail scorpion. Yeah, came out into um, basically a place on the Isle of Sheppey in Blue Town. And it's the only place in the UK where we get wild scorpions. So this is a Tetratrichobothrys flaviclaudis. Uh, me and Alan just found this and got it out. Um, yeah, just thought it'd be pretty cool to show you. Okay, and Alan just spotted this. Uh, you want to get some tweezers and try and give it a uh, give it a little poke? It's the smallest one I think I've ever seen of this. So, uh, and how long have we been here for, Alan? Would you say? Uh, not even ten minutes yet. No. Okay. Do you know, um, hold the tub? I'll, I'll swap Yeah, it. hold the tub. And there he is. This one is tiny. Teeny, teeny, tiny little thing. It looks like it's got a meal in it as well, which is quite good, because I will take a look at that and see what they're feeding on. And the food source. Yeah. Definitely uh, feeding on isopods, which is kind of lucky really because I know a guy who uh, who has a couple <laughs> they're everywhere loads of them also uh, spotted quite a lot of uh, Eratogena here as well so uh, whether they're feeding on those or it's competition don't know but uh, at the moment we've uh, seen uh, another say six and then uh, we've caught these two, which is this little one down here and that larger one there. No, gone. No. Ah, it happens. It's a mature male. Missing at least one leg by the looks of it. What a pretty little boy. There's loads of these out. Looking for a female. Okay, so we just found what we thought originally was the uh, the malt of the uh, of the scorpion. And then upon closer inspection we found this Stetoda, which is Looks like a bit of a fatty female, but uh, yeah, I think she's eating it, so 
Obviously there's two species, or well, two spiders that I know of that are here, which are the Stetoda and the uh, Uratogenus. And obviously they are uh, feeding on the scorpions. Okay, so um, I'm just taking some photos of this because Alan pointed out that it'd make a really cool uh, sort of screensaver or something. And basically whilst taking photos, Alan noticed that the scorpion was still moving. So uh, yeah, that's definitely been, uh, been had. So it definitely proves that the scorpions are prey of the, of the spiders, at least the smaller scorpions. Interesting to know whether the larger scorpions are feeding on the smaller spiders. Either way, the ice pods are definitely bottom of the fin jade here. Hey everyone, going to add this into the end of the scorpion video. I hope you enjoyed it. So I want to quickly show you something because uh, I figured it's kind of relatable in the sense that I want to show you my smallest scorpion. Now when we think of scorpions, we think of things like uh, Yehetometrus, um, which are you know, obviously very big, large scorpions, sort of five, six inches, um, you know, very big scorpions. And obviously there's the native ones that we get here in the UK, which you've seen in this video, which of course are quite small growing to about an inch inch and a half uh, in total what I have here which I would like to just sort of show you now is this this is a C stockman and this is a fully grown I believe fully grown female really really cool markings on the uh, body nice little pattern along the uh, you know the abdomen there and um, yeah, this is a fully grown female. And uh, the enclosure that she is in, just to sort of show you for size, is um, it's a large enclosure for her. And this is just one of those, you know, those like beetle pots um, or like jelly pots and things. This all this is. And it's um, sort of big enough to give her plenty of space. Um, if I have anything too small, it seems a bit like a. I don't know, this is just plenty for her, plenty of borrowing space and things as well. And I figured I'd just sort of show her. Because she is actually about the same size now as the baby of the scorpions that I got from the island. So I just thought I'd just include her and just sort of show you. Um, I've had her for quite a while now. She's doing really well and, uh, oops. I don't really see her all that often, to be honest. So I thought, well, I will just uh, just do a little check on her. Oops. Make sure she's make sure she's okay. And I just sort of redid the enclosure, gave it a good spray, made sure there was no uneaten food in there. Uh, to be honest, uh, she is feeding on springtails. <laughs> it's anything small enough for her, pretty much. So I just keep topping up with spring towels and that's what she's basically surviving on so you know it's uh that meal's plenty for her so yeah okay like I, I don't see this scorpion very often um i probably won't see her again for a very very long time but i just thought that now would be a good opportunity to sort of show you and uh, yeah i really hope you enjoy this video of scorpions um obviously if you have any requests please feel free to let me know in the comments below don't forget to like and uh, subscribe for more content. And if you'd really like to help me out, please feel free to share this or any of my other videos with people that you think that might enjoy it. And also check out my link tree for my social media and ways to support me and my channel. So yeah, hope you're all doing well. 
and I will see you all in the next video.